Dragon Ball Super Episode 48 Review, Future Trunks in the Present, by Damian Sito. Read to you by Brian Jaffrey. Dragon Ball Super Episode 47 kicked off the Future Trunks saga and it was one of the more popular episodes to date. Episode 48 starts where we left off, and Trunks is still mourning the loss of Mei Ai and his mother Bulma. To recap a bit, Black Goku is pretty much the most evil character in Dragon Ball Super to date. Not only did he kill off future Bulma, but future Mei Ai is dead too. Trunks is livid at this point and finally turns into a Super Saiyan to kick off episode 48. While Black Goku is fighting future Trunks, he keeps saying he wants to put an end to the Saiyan race. This is an interesting point because this might mean that Black Goku is not a real Saiyan. If he was, why would he want to make his own race extinct? Anyway, Future Trunks uses a laser blast to escape from Black Goku. As Future Trunks goes back to the laboratory, he fires up the time machine. Black Goku is in hot pursuit but luckily Future Trunks is able to escape in time. Now Future Trunks is able to get to the present. The episode jumps back to the present and we see Kid Trunks in school. In the same classroom as him is Peel Off, May I answer you? The time machine appears and Future Trunks is safe, but exhausted. Kid Trunks wonders what the heck is going on as he sees his older self inside of the time machine. Bulma is called to come by and she knows it's Trunks as it has the hope symbol on the time machine. Peel Off looks at the time machine and freaks out thinking that Future Trunks is the older brother to the kid version. Kid Trunks doesn't know what to think at this point because nobody told him about his future self coming to their timeline to warn about the androids. Kid Trunks freaks out that he has the same name as him, but Pilaf thinks Pulmo is stupid for calling her sons the same name. In order for Goku and Vegeta to come back to Earth, Kid Trunks needs to power up his kiss so that Goku can use the instant transmission technique. If you remember from last week, the Saiyan pair are training with Weiss on Beerus planet. Weiss, Beerus, Vegeta and Goku all decide to go to Earth to see what's up. As we cut to the future, Black Goku threatens that he will still find future Trunks. The fight between them is not over yet. It kind of reminds me of the time General Zed wanted to pursue Superman on Earth in Man of Steel. Future Trunks is exhausted from his fight so he needs a Sensu Bean in order to heal up. As he wakes up, he sees Goku for the first time in so many years. However, Future Trunks has Black Goku in his mind and starts to attack the real Goku. Goku is able to block his punch as he's much stronger now that back in the Cell Saga. That was the end of episode 48. Overall, this episode was good to watch but it did not have much in terms of story progression. We still don't know the full identity of the Black Goku character, and nothing was mentioned about the Green Kai character that we now know is called Zamasu. Next week is episode 49 and the preview shows that Black Goku has found a way to the present somehow. It could have been a wormhole or something left from the time machine. In either case, our heroes have a big battle on their hands. We will have our review up next week for you so stay tuned.